What's good? It's your boy CJ Goodfella back with the boxing clinic. And, um, oh, I've been trying to do this video, uh, you know, currently for a while. Just keep getting interrupted. But, uh, you know, it's actually going to drop, like, kind of this video Monday. But, um, it was going to be about, uh, another subject, which I'll drop tomorrow, which, you know, I posted an individual thread off my page on to a couple groups. And, um, you know, a lot of people are underselling you know what Mikey Garcia um, is he seems like he's like very very like underrated you know with his skill set size punching ability and what he even did before people forget that he knocks Alito down like four or five times and people act like Terrence Crawford is the messiah very untouchable you know what I mean and you know it happens a lot in the sport of boxing with you know modern fans uh, even matter on hardcore fans, you know, and you could say that, um, you know, it's a nice size of us that's really gulping down the Vassal Lomachenko um, Kool Aid, and it's cool though, you know, because you can make the parallel. I can't say, well, this, this, make excuses, is you know, simply I just, you know, feels that he's a special type of fighter, and I feel that way about Terrence Crawford, but people are acting like Terrence Crawford is, you know, untouchable, unbeatable, and you know, people forget. That uh, Gamboa had his moments versus him. He went over to fought Ricky Burns. That wasn't the cleanest um, performance I seen. He really struggled over there from Ricky versus Ricky Burns, especially in the early to mid rounds. At a time, a couple years before that, where you know people wanted Broner to fight Ricky Burns after the Antonio DeMarco fight, which would you know which when Broner would have totally dis, you know dismantled him at 35 and knocked Ricky Burns out. I'm very very positive about that. That's the time where Terrence Crawford really struggled to find his rhythm over there early in that fight, but, you know, got a clear decision. It was a tough, hard-fought decision, harder than we thought he would have to fight, you know, Ricky Burns. You know, he didn't look all impressive versus Ray Beltran, you know. Not saying Ray Beltran is easy pickings, but Ray Beltran, you know, got his attention a few times. Hank Lundy had a lot of success versus him, you know. Victor Postal, I knew he wouldn't have any success because he's a, a stand-up, straight um, European fighter, and usually Americans tear those guys apart, especially when they don't have special type of power, which, you know, Postal don't. He has a, He's a solid puncher. He's not good. He struggled with Thomas DeLorme early on, you know? And, and you know, the list goes on. You know, you know, people are just, um, you know, crowning fighters early, and then when fighters go up against solid competition, a la Triple G versus Daniel Jacobs for the first time in their career, and they look vulnerable or they lose, then we like, oh, he was a hype job, a hype job. And people, you know, you can't call them a hype job from the simple fact that, you know, people pumped him up. The media pumped him up. That's where it starts at. The media pumped him up. The the fans pumped him up. And it's a small percentage of people, you know, that's safe, dog. You know, he, he really ain't, you know, did that yet or been tested yet and you know I don't see who he fought and I don't see it and those are the guys that can scream he was overrated he was a fanboy and then the same people that pumped him up they turn around and turn on the fighter one loss and oh, he was overrated I hate him you know I he thought it wasn't that he was never that he's match made perfectly you know Terrence Crawford hasn't had a true 50 50 fight in my opinion and I, or a true fight where he was the underdog you know, he hasn't had that fight yet. He had an uphill battle. Face adversity. Cut blood in the eye versus a real strong upper echelon type of opponent. You know? You don't know what this kid really is made of. We seen him buzz by a small Gamboa. We seen Hang Lundy giving him some work a little bit. You know? The blueprint is there. You know, he's able to overpower guys because simply he's walking in as a junior middleweight fight night so he has a size advantage and an athletic ability advantage will he beat Manny Pacquiao I'm 100% not sure about that you know could, does he have the style to do it absolutely there's things about this kid we don't know he haven't faced adversity you can't give him messiah status if he never been in a true 50-50 fight or he never truly been an underdog in a fight you know you can't give the guy the messiah when when Floyd Mayweather kind of earned the legit status, not saying that he was the all-time great that most people think he is now, is when he fought Diego Corrales. People really, he was, that was the, the one of the few times in his career he was legitimately on the books and in the fans' point of view, an underdog. 
You know, in Vegas, he was an underdog. On the books, he was a, a clear underdog. And that performance would really step him into, you know, legitimacy. With Terrence Crawford, I don't know if he's a legit contender. I don't know how many people out there, you know, in the top 10 pound for pound is, are legit. You know, in my opinion. You know, I don't know how many of these guys is legit other than, you know, if you want to put a Pacquiao in there, Tim Bradley in there. You know, when you go Keith Thurman, Canelo Alvarez, you know, I, I will kind of tween with Canelo Alvarez being legit. We see, we going to see what he got at 160. Um, you know, Roman Gonzalez, who got beat people, was pumping him up. And I think the guy clearly beat him. Not saying that he ain't what he thought he was. You know what I mean? It's not too many dudes that's legit. You know, you go with the old heads, Ward, Pacquiao. Bradley, if you got him in the top 10, those guards are legit, and we know what they are. But other than that, it's not too many young guys that's legit because they don't fight the best or the best opponent is not available right now in that weight class. So when he moves up in weight, then we'll see. But for head label him legit right now, nah. -uh. I got a special video going up, you know, if you want to be a part of so a basketball video, detailed topic, let me know. We go.